Well, hi there, pluckers. I have a sore finger again with you. Thanks indeed for joining me for a bit of help. Uh, for one of my viewers has written in and uh, asked me for some extra help on a video I did a while ago now called um, By Guns N' Roses and the song was called Sweet Child of Mine. And uh, my viewer is having a bit of a problem work doing the uh, following me on the intro. Okay, um, I did supply a tab sheet just purely for the intro. Okay, and I'm I'm not sure where the problem is with the tab, or she can't uh, make out what I'm doing on the video. So this is my attempt to try and put that right. Okay, so I'm assuming that uh, I think she's told me that uh, she's a bit of a beginner. So um, I'm going to start from scratch. Okay. Um, now obviously I'm in a standard tune guitar. Okay, and uh, the strings are now you've got uh, letters for each string. All right. Thin string is at a top E. Then we've got a second. It's, it's, next string is a B. Next string or that. Third string up is a. G string, the fourth string up is a D string, fifth string up is an A string, and the sixth, uh, the top one here is a bottom E. Okay, the sixth string is a bottom E, right? So you've got E, B, G, D, A, and then bottom E. Okay, top E, bottom E. Okay. Now, if you look at the tab sheet, which this, this is all, it's quite important that you follow the tab sheet on this, I think. You'll see on the top line of the tab, there are four bars. And looking at the left hand side, you'll see, um, it starts on the left hand side, you'll see the string names or letters listed from the bottom E to the top E. Okay, E, A, D, G, B and E on the left hand side of the left hand bar okay so those are the strings the numbers that you see on following from left to right are the fret positions uh, of each note so the first thing you see going from left to right is a zero or an O or a zero on the D string right so the D string is open that means it's open there's no fret on there's no fretting needed just a straightforward open string okay so to start this uh, to play this riff we started off in a D chord okay now hopefully you'll probably know what a D chord is but I'm assuming nothing so my first finger is playing the second fret of the third G string the G string okay I'm playing the second fret of the G string my second finger is playing the second fret of the first top E string, okay? And my third finger is playing the third fret of the B string, okay? So that's, and then the fourth string is, the uh, D string is open, okay? So, first four strings, yeah. Right, so looking at the tab again, the first thing you see going from left to right is a zero on the D string. So that's that, that's simple. No, no fretting on the D string, okay? The next one is a number three on the B string, right? Well, this is that. That's the B string, and I'm already on fret three. So you hit that note, okay? So open some fourth, D string, third on the B string, okay? Third note is a number two on the G string, which you're holding like that finger there, it's a fret two on the G string. So, okay. Next note along is a zero on the G string. So you, that means it's open. So you have to take the fretting off. Take that finger off and play it open. The third string, the G string, open. Okay. Okay. The next note along is a number three on the top E string. So you have to add your pinky to that top E string on the third fret. So and um, um, pluck that note. Okay. So so far we've got. Okay. Next note along the uh, sixth note is a number two on the G string. So we have to put this finger back onto the 2nd fret of the G string and hit that note. So 
notes so far, six notes so far. And seventh note is a number two on the top E string, right, which is already there because we're holding the D chord. And that happens to have the second fret of the top E string fretted. So we just hit that note. That's the seventh note of the sequence, okay? And then finally, it's a number two on the G string, which we've got already fretted. The G string on the second fret. So that is that, that note there. Here's the eighth note, the last note in the bar. So the bar in total is... play that a little bit quicker you'll in instantly recognize it. Okay. And you notice the second bar along is identical to the first bar. So you play that riff, that part of the riff twice. So it's You go into bar three, and um, basically what you do with that is you move this finger, which is keeping those two where they are, that one and that one. You move this finger up to the third fret on the A string, right? Which is that one, that one there. Okay, keeping these two where they are. So you just basically go like that. Okay, onto the fifth string, the A string. And you'll notice on the third bar, the first thing you see is a number three on the A string. So that's the note you play. And then it says, uh, goes on to a number three on the B string, which is that one. So then it says a number two on the G string, which is that one. Second fret of the G string. So then an, uh, uh, zero on the G string so that means the third G string is open so you take that finger off and play the third G string open okay so okay then it says a number three on the top first string okay the top E string so you, again you have to put your pinky on that first string third fret okay you have to add that so this so far we would have then it says a zero on the third string the G string again so we hit that note on its own then it says a number two on the top E string so this finger has to be going down to here now second fret on the e, top E string okay so Finally, we've got another zero on the G string, which is that one again, third string up from the bottom, open. So that whole bar three is okay, and the fourth bar along is identical to the third bar, so you just repeat that twice as well. Two, the four bars together so far, two the same to start with, and then two more the same after that. So it's okay. Then it moves to the bottom line of the tabs, and all you do for that again is keeping. This finger now moves up to the, to the bottom E string on the third fret, it just goes up a string. And uh, you basically play the same picking pattern as for the previous two bars. That You'll see it when you, when you work through it, it's exactly the same, but instead of using that fret, you're using 
the sixth string or the bottom E string on the third fret. And then finally the final two bars are the same as the first two. Okay, so the whole thing So basically, um, hopefully, I think your problem may have been not reading the tabs correctly. Hopefully that may have helped. If not, let me know and we'll have another go. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching this, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.